Hello, my name is Wienke Giesman, CEO and co-founder of the Things Industries, and I want to welcome you at Things Conference. And this time we're going to talk about IoT use cases in the agricultural sector. Uh, we're going to have many and uh, nice speakers, partners, uh, and all kinds of stories where the technology of LoRaWAN is used in the field of agriculture. So first of all, we have some great partners, uh, Semtech, Finduino, uh, Smart Rural. Um, uh, we have uh, Movement, Tactelec, Airnas, uh, Thingy, Edge Impulse, and Sensational Systems supporting this event. And we want to thank all of them. Um, what we do as the Things Industries, we help companies around the world um, uh, scaling their LoRaWAN products and LoRaWAN solutions, helping them build their networks and helping them uh, build uh, the complete end-to-end -end system. Um, for the ones who are new and who got excited or uh, interested in the topic of IoT and agriculture and don't know uh, a lot about LoRaWAN, uh, LoRaWAN is, 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 a, is a pretty uh, uh, simple uh, technology that uh, uh, allows you to transmit small pieces of data uh, over the air. And typically, if you look at the agricultural sector, we're not talking about huge, huge amount of data when we're talking about IoT. So let's revisit why we think LoRaWAN is such an awesome technology uh, and how that relates to use cases in the agricultural sector. sector. So first of all, it's lo ultra low power, but it means that uh, the devices can last in the battery for very long. If I put something out in the field or I uh, maybe even put a device on an animal, I do not have the luxury to change the battery every few weeks. So I want to last, it last to last for years. Uh, long range as well. If you, for instance, um, uh, want to build a, a, a cattle tracking uh, uh, solution, you do not control the distance uh, uh, between the base station, uh, your IoT base station and the sensor. So therefore long range is super interesting. Deep indoor penetration, if you're talking about uh, indoor green, uh, 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 greenhouse uh, kind of uh, settings. Um, it is license-free spectrum, so you can set it up yourself anywhere, so it's all the freedom you need. Uh, you can do tracking through geolocation kind of features. Uh, you can use both public operator uh, operated networks, but you can also build your own network, so it's a public-private deployment, and you can even make uh, combinations. The security is embedded in the protocol, so you don't have to worry about that. It can uh, it now supports firmware over the air uh, updates, um, and uh, uh, there's a complete ecosystem with certified devices uh, out there. Um, and this resulted in that we have now thousands and thousands of users on our platform that use this IoT LoRaWAN technology in the agriculture sector. So we have a group of awesome speakers um, uh, uh, from uh, from all around the world. Um, uh, uh, we will show you all kinds of IoT devices. So what you see here is, for instance, uh, devices by Sodak. They, they do cattle tracking. But you see also Finduino. They measure the soil sensor. You see Sensor Terra. Uh, you see some, so even one of our partners are, is creating a uh, self-feeding uh, sensor that gets the power from the soil of the plants. Um, Tactelic as a gateway network vendors very experienced in, in, in helping all kinds of use cases there. Um, so, so there's many, many more. Uh, you will can find them on the, 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 the Things Industries device repositories as well. I uh, will mention that uh, 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 during the event. But, but there's already a lot of devices you can get off the shelf. So what's happening in the field? So we have Edge Impulse talking about uh, AI and, and, and using AI on the Edge. Uh, using the sensor data, transforming that invaluable uh, data for your business. Um, we'll have a movement talk about cattle tracking. These are smart ear tags that run on a solar panel and allow you to track your cattle. Uh, Thing is going to talk about wildfire and smoke detection, a uh, very relevant uh, uh, subject, uh, uh, um, uh, a very uh, uh, interesting subject. Uh, wildfires are... Uh, uh, the number one source of CO2 emission and when we can get to them uh, earlier and prevent them, that's, uh, that, that serves a massive cause. Um, Finduino is going to talk about IoT uh, 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 soil moisture sensors, but also how to make an ecosystem of actuators and sensors in uh, uh, a vineyard um, uh, 
uh, Rainier from uh, Vinduino has been using LoRaWAN for now almost five years, and uh, he has a ton of experience in. He's going to uh, share a very interesting story. This is very innovative. So, what if we can get the power of the sensor uh, uh, out of the ground? This is what Plant E and Ernas will be talking about. Um, uh, so, a lot of exciting. Uh, 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 showcases that we see in the Internet of Things and segment. And this is really just a subsection of the thousands of use cases that we have run on our uh, uh, LoRaWAN technology. So let's uh, guide you through the program. We're going to start off with Rainier, and we're going to have a Q&A panel with uh, Ben from our team, and we're going to talk about uh, Smart Rule, uh, uh, an organization that uh, to, together with farmers, helps them create all kinds of use cases, help them with IoT. Um, then uh, Tom Zamir is going to uh, talk about uh, uh, how to operate LoRaWAN networks in uh, uh, high plant density environments. Plants, of course, have a lot of water, radio frequency to, uh, 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 um, a technology, and, and, and radio waves don't, don't always perform that well, but he's going to tell you how to perform that. Um, uh, then we're going to talk, uh, Luca is going to talk about the plant-powered IoT. Um, we're going to have Sasha from Tectelic tell about all their customers that use uh, uh, LoRaWAN uh, and uh, and how they support them. Uh, and uh, Kirk uh, from Semtech, um, of course, has a lot of experience and has seen many, many customers in the agriculture se sector. And he's going to share his stories as well. Uh, after that, we're going to talk about AI on the edge, uh, robots and uh, 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 AI and how uh, that's used uh, in the, uh, uh, on farms and on, on fields. Um, Peter Vogels uh, from Movement is gonna ta talk about cattle tracking. Um, he, we have seen him before, but he's getting massive traction and he's growing very fast and he's happy to share uh, the stories around that. Uh, and then uh, Franco from, uh, now it's called N and Jinko, uh, and he's going to talk about uh, a, a wide range of applications. They have a pretty cool ecosystem of all kinds of devices. Um, you might know them before from uh, SMC F88. Uh, uh, now they position themselves as uh, uh, Njinko, uh, and he, he, he has a wide range of devices and has also uh, a massive amount of experience. So uh, you're definitely going to enjoy that. One more thing uh, before... Uh, we'll hand it over to all these cool speakers. The big uh, the conference in Amsterdam is going to be there. It's going to be super exciting. Uh, we really hope you're going to be there. It's going to be a hybrid event. Uh, so at the same time, we're going to have a virtual event as well. But when you come to Amsterdam, uh, we have all kinds of exciting workshops for you. It, we have an all-you-can uh, IoT concept where you can literally experience all the different devices that you can find on our device repository. Uh, you can meet all the uh, big players in the IoT industry and uh, it's gonna be two days fully packed of a lot of knowledge and a lot of business and a lot of uh, 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 sharing. So I uh, really hope to see you there. Um, and then I just wanna thank you and, and wanna uh, 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 wish you uh, luck today and, and hope that you learned a lot and, uh, and, and are inspired. Uh, and uh, uh, and um, then I hope to see you soon.